Thank you. All right, are you fuck faces ready? Right, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, friends. And Tiberius, welcome in. 
welcome in to both groups. Uh, and I see he is shilling his tool in the chat, as, as always, as is tradition. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, everyone. Tibbs, thanks for the 15, by the way. <laughs> thanks for the 15. Um, diversify your bonds with the 22 months. Welcome back to the All Has Red Sea, my friend. Thanks for supporting the stream. Zero, Kieran, with the 14. Welcome back. Welcome in. M Young McFlurry and Zeklar, thanks for the follows. How's everybody's weekend going? How is everybody's weekend? Everybody, too, too short as usual, as, the, as is tradition. As is tradition. Uh, started the CRTO course, anything to look out for? Uh, yeah, you're going to want to look out for the various modules that you have to click on and then do. You want to look out for those. I believe they're in the sidebar. You click on them and then it tells you what to do in them. That, that's what to look out for. Uh, Flynn4x4, thanks for the follow. Cthulhu Fountain to you, my friend. When are you unzipping the jacket? Uh, never. I'm actually going to zip it up more just for you, okay? Just for you, I'm zipping it up more. Very helpful as always. I'm here to help. I'm here to help. I bet he is naked under that jacket. I am not. I am decidedly not naked under that jacket. It flew by. It really did, dude. I, I was out doing errands all day yesterday. Um, and, uh, and then I sat down and watched a little bit of Cabinet of Curiosities last night. Um, that was really the only free time that I got. Um, and I ended up really liking that. So that was the, that was a good bit of free time. What are you going to start? Dude, I just got on like two minutes ago. Like two minutes ago. I'm going to start when I goddamn feel like it, Zane. When I, whenever I goddamn feel like it, I'm going to, I'll get started. Okay. I just got here. I'm saying hi to the chat and already people are cracking the whip. Chill. I'm gonna start pretty soon, okay? I'm just, I'm just chill. I'm just. Today's fun day, Sunday, okay? I'm de and it's my, it's my goddamn stream. The molding started. Oh, I, I mean, the molding is always going. The molding never stops. That's my secret cap. I'm always molding. Would love to see you hack the newly retired Hathor machine from Hack the Box. Seems right up your alley. Um, well, let me take a look at it. I was planning on doing Try Hack Me today because the last Try Hack Me box kind of sucked. But uh, let me take a look at Hathor and see if it's uh, see if it looks interesting. Did you see a bunch of your Colco in the top ten in the Hack the Box insane in the Hack the Box insane box yesterday, mostly via cheese. Uh, I was out all day yesterday. Like, so Saturday is my only free day. I get to, like, run errands and stuff if I need to run errands. Uh, so I'm not in the, uh, I am not in the, I'm not in there as often as I should be anymore. But that's great. I'm, I'm, uh, that sounds like, uh, sounds like you guys had a good time. Tired machines. Hathor, I don't do insane boxes on stream, fellas. Um, I'm not gonna do. I, 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 I'm not gonna do an insane box on stream. It's more of a medium without the hardening. I, 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 I don't. I don't know, guys. I. I, I Like, I, 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 my general policy is not to do, is, is not to do insane boxes on stream. Because, uh, I, I if we run into, like, binary exploitation or something like that, uh, I don't want to have to do, like, a heap exploitation in front of you guys. I don't know that stuff, uh, well enough. Uh, so it's, and you guys think you want to see an insane box? You really don't. You really don't want to see an insane box. I don't know. I'll, I, I... Your interview with Nahamsek was awesome. I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad you liked it. Tell him to bring me back. We still don't have a redeem for marbles. I, I do marbles whenever, uh, like, I do marbles whenever I feel like it. 
I don't want to interrupt the flow of the stream. I don't know. The thing about doing an insane box on stream is I don't know what it's going to have. Everyone always says they want to see the insane boxes on stream, but you really don't. I, I assure you, you really don't. <sighs> I guess I'll put it into the poll. All right. I guess I'll let you guys pick. All right, I put it. I put it in a poll. Let the people decide. to FTL, where this is going to end pretty shortly anyways. Um, you know what? We'll do Metroid Prime today, actually. I'm feeling Metroid Prime. There we go. Metroid Prime. That's the good stuff. I mean, I know everyone's going to pick Hathor anyways, so, like, should we just do Hathor? Because I have a feeling everyone's just going to pick that one. Oh, it's actually losing. That's surprising. You need to do more speed. I think that would fix the fi being tired problem, but it would present other problems. Maybe in 15 years, we'll get another Prime game. Hey, they showed us a JPEG for Metroid Prime 4 like five years ago. So I'm sure it's any day now we'll get something on that. They literally just showed us a fucking JPEG um, that said Metroid, Pri Metroid Prime 4 on it. And that's all the information we've gotten on Metroid Prime 4. I don't even know how we would... I don't even know how... Is that the Insane Box? Yeah, it's the recently retired Insane Box. How about some AD stuff today? Everyone always wants to see the AD stuff today. Uh, I suspect Hathor is probably AD, judging from who made it. Any important hacking news from the last days? Um, I don't know. I've been dialed out the last couple of days. Um, what's been going on? Um, let's see. The Crypto Bros have taken another huge L, so that's always good. Uh, looks like Try Hack Me was selected this time. Perhaps on Cthulhu Thursday we will do, uh, uh, we will do... Perhaps on Cthulhu Thursday we will do Hathor. I'll need to look at it to make sure it at least doesn't have any binary exploitation before I take it on on stream. With the binary... With the... Let me get logged in here. Nice Bloodborne poster. Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, I am a Bloodborne fan. By the way, I see why you guys wanted me to watch Cabinet of Curiosities. I, honestly, all you had to say was that Guillermo del Toro was attached to it, and I would have been on board immediately. None of you, all of you are telling me to watch Cabinet of Curiosities, and no one thinks to tell me that Guillermo del Toro is involved. I mean, I would, I would have instantly been on board if I had known that. I, I'm just saying. Um, that was self-explanatory? Like, I, what do you mean that was self-explanatory? I did not know that he was involved. It was definitely not self-explanatory. All right, let's come over here. You didn't know? No. I, 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 all I knew from the chat, all I knew about Cabinet of Curiosities was what chat told me, okay? Uh, we can do, we can hide completed. All difficulties. Okay. What do you guys want to see? Hopefully it'll be better than Mnemonic. The plan was to do some try hack me today because Mnemonic sucks so much.
What do you guys think? I'll just pee. You want just want you want just you want just want you wanted to. I already had completed, but some of these have been complete. I don't know why it does this. Some of these I've completed, but uh, it doesn't hide them. I don't know why. Volnet. Watcher. Is that a that's a box? I'm assuming. Okay, yeah, there we go. Nice. Have you done plotted TMS? I might I might have? I'm not sure. I I feel like it's been recommended to me before. Let me let me check it. What which one is better for you? It depends. Uh, I think it, I think t I think try hack me is better for beginners. I think hack the box is a better platform for more advanced players. Uh, okay, so people are recommending Watcher, so I'll put that one in there. We're going to do another poll. Watcher. Um, is Did I do plotted TMS? It's definitely been recommended to me before. Uh, I don't think so. So we'll put that one in there. Plotted TMS. Naham Store is being recommended. Okay, we'll put that one in there. Uh, we'll put Volnet in there. And we should probably get at least one Windows box in there, I would say. Huh? But unfortunately, I think we may have done just about all the Windows boxes. Hmm. I guess we'll put Volnet Roasted in there. I'm just trying to get one Windows box that I haven't done. I've done raw before. What website is this? This is Try Hack Me. All right, get your votes in, kids. Get your votes in. What's the quickest way to detect if an ADCS server is present in the domain? Run certify, or cert, or not certify. Run a, a cert util. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me find the exact command for you. But cert util on a Windows machine, just just, just a built-in cert util is just built in on a Windows machine, uh, and it'll tell you. Uh, let me double check. Look at the command. One second. Uh, here you go. This cert util command on Windows will uh, enumerate CAs for you. I can only stream retired boxes on Hack the Box. Uh, on a Linux machine, run Certify. Uh, run, uh, Linux machine Certify will enumerate t uh, CAs for you. Butt stab with the six months. Welcome back. Here's to another nine months, my friend. Pinka Gamer, thanks for the follow. And Flynn, thanks for the follow. It looks like Watcher was selected. It does look like Watcher was selected. As always, uh, if we get through this one very quickly, we will do another box, so don't be too concerned. Did I already do part of this?
It looks like I did part of this. This is my line. Except I didn't get all the way through it. Huh. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll reset my progress on it. I'll reset my progress. I don't remember this one at all. Hopefully today we'll finish it then. Did you try hollow? Is it worth the time? Um. Yes and no. Uh, I thought that most of hollow was very worth doing. Uh, it was a very good time. I think at the end, it tries a little bit too hard to slip an NTLM relay in there because that's such an important attack to understand. And it makes you do some wacky shit to make an NTLM relay work. That would just would not be the case in real life. Flynn with the 200 Tiggle Biddies. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much, Flynn. That's so kind of you. Did you forget to submit the flags or was the box just busted? I mean, good question. I don't know. Good question. I, I'm gonna. I reset all my progress anyway. We're gonna. We're gonna start from the beginning, uh, because clearly I don't remember the box anyways. All right. Let's start the machine. Let's connect to the VPN. Uh, don't worry. If Hathor doesn't have binary exploitation, look. All I'm really concerned about on Hathor on TriHack on Hack the Box is if it has like some kind of heap binary exploitation exploitation or something like that, uh, like Player Two, um, or Rope Two or something like that. I'm always wary of those. I don't want to do those on stream. Um, you think you want to see those? You don't actually want to see those because I don't really understand well enough how to teach those. Um, but, uh, if, if, uh, if Hathor proves to be not ridiculous, uh, then I will, uh, then I'll do it. I'll have to at least make sure it doesn't have any binary exploitation, but perhaps we will do it on, uh, on, uh, Cthulhu Thursday this coming week. Actually, that'll be Thanksgiving. I don't know if I'll be streaming on Thanksgiving. Um, but we'll, we'll try and get it in. We'll do it. If it doesn't have binary exploitation, I'll make sure to do it. Did you hear about the recent Hack the Box and Sane Box being rooted? Yeah, I was told that people found some kind of a cheesy way to get root, uh, to get user and root on it. Um, in the uh, uh, but I wasn't there for it yesterday. I, 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 I Saturday is I normally have, I, I try to be in there with my boys doing, uh, try doing Hack the Box on the doing the new Hack the Box release on Saturday, but Saturday is my only day that I get free to like run errands and stuff like that. So. If I need to go get groceries or I need to go out uh, and get and, you know, if I if I need to take a day to get shit done, uh, Saturday is my only day to do that. Uh, so that was one of that was the case yesterday. I mean, I don't have a folder for Watcher on this box, so I have not done Watcher in any recent history. I don't remember this box at all, so it clearly was a while, a while ago. Did you try any e-learn security cert yet? No. I keep tr want, thinking about trying the pen testing extreme. I just never have actually have yet. Uh, at the moment, my number one consideration is getting is uh, is working on my uh, course. I want to get my course rolled out uh, as quickly as I can uh, while still delivering a really quality product for you guys. Um, so that's where my primary consideration is at the moment. Also, the new job. Okay. Let's get started. Ye old nmap scan. I didn't hear about this course. What's that about? It's going to be on ADCS, Active Directory Certificate Services. Uh, it's going to be, I'm, I, I intend it to be all encompassing on the current, ad, uh, current trade craft regarding active directory certificate services. Do you think the Pronte, Dante pro labs are a cool prep for you? OSCP? Yes. Those will probably, I mean, it'll help you. It'll help you learn, uh, the active directory portion for sure. It might be harder than the OSCP though. Is there a launch window? Not yet, no. I'm working with some people, we'll see. No course on smart contracts, not yet.
What OS is this? Arch Linux? No, this is Kali. This is Kali PNAC Gamer 9. All right, we have we have FTP, where anonymous FTP login is apparently not enabled, or Nmap would have noticed it. Uh, and we have Jekyll version 4.1.1. Huh. Well, right off the... I, I don't even know what Jekyll version... I don't know what Jekyll is. I guess we're going to find out. Oh, box name. Thank you. Try Hack Me Watcher. Okay. It's like WordPress. Um, I, I, I'm sure it's just some CMS or something like that. We'll find out. Let's find out what we're dealing with here. Cork placemats. God, I don't remember this at all. Uh, click on. Let's just click around a little bit. That doesn't seem to go anywhere. That doesn't go anywhere. Uh, I'm seeing it says post equals bunch.php. Um. So right off the bat, we can try for ye old directory traversal. Okay, well that was easy. Um, so we we do have directory traversal. Um, I give it I give it ten seconds before Tibbs tells me to do the new uh, PHP filters uh, remote code execution on it. Any time now. Uh, see, there it is. There it is. Okay, we. Just we're getting that out of the way early on, okay? We're get we're getting we're getting that out of the way early on. Um uh, we can we can look for SSH, we certainly can. We see Toby, we see Matt. Uh, we see FTP user. Uh, we see all of those. I'm trying to get my PHP I'm trying to uh, check my cheat sheet for PHP filter stuff. Because I can never remember the actual syntax. Okay, post.php. Can we do post equals post.php? Is it just going to infinitely recurse? Yeah, it's hanging because it's infinitely recursing. So that's good. Uh, resource equals post.php. And we do see... Uh, that we have the um, base64 here. It may be clearer if we view page source. As you can see, we have the base64 encoded uh, post.php. Okay. Uh, we can go to Cyber Chef. It's probably very simple. It's probably just including another thing. Okay, so we see post.php here. Uh, so where's the actual PHP? PHP, yeah, all it's doing is including, and the rest of this is just HTML. The actual PHP just includes another page. I wonder if there's a remote file inclusion. Uh, let's try remote file inclusion. 10, 13, 4, 120. Test. Uh, PHP. 
Uh, does not seem like that works. Uh, if only we could, uh, if only it was a Windows box. Yeah, we could get Responder. What is the TAC-K switch? That lets you connect to it multiple times. It'll keep it open. So, like, uh, if we split this in half. Um, and we go Netcat 127.001 port 80. We see we connect. We send some garbage. We send some garbage. We disconnect. We notice that Netcat does not disconnect here, so we can connect again. Does that make sense? So Tac Cave just means to keep it open. It just it the the end yeah it keeps listening there. So yeah, there you go. Little tip for you there. So remote file inclusion is not a pot is not a, is not a possibility. Um, let me get some notes going. One second. I don't even have a note page for this. When was I doing this? Okay. I don't know when I was doing this box. I don't have a note page for it. Because I'm always so good at taking notes on stream. Okay. Okay. There we so we I'm just putting the uh, actually it'll be better if we uh, view page source. Uh, we'll get the new lines in there. Makes it look a little bit nicer. So we'll control Z that. We'll paste it like that. Okay, so now it now it looks nicer. There you go. So we have Matt, Toby, and FTP and FTP user, and we also have a Will. So let's look for those guys. Um, home, uh, will, dot SSH, uh, ID, RSA, nothing, uh, FTP, nope, FTP user, nope, Matt, with one T for some reason, nope, and Toby. That's fair. Uh, he's not really a he's not really a part of the Cork Placemats family, and he's not and he's divorced actually, so he's not even a part of his family. So, uh, so I wasn't expecting to find anything with Toby. Maybe try to search for config file. Well, yeah, that's what we're gonna do next. We could consider some log poisoning, yes. Uh, Apache2, um, apache2.conf. Okay. Uh, we can view the page source again to see. Does it have a log directory specified? I think it's var log apache2 by default. We see a pat. there's an apache log dir environment variables, so... We could do proc self E and V. No, we cannot see proc self E and V. Isn't, isn't it proc self E and V that contains the environment variables? Am I wrong about that? Environ, that's the one. Yeah, thank you. And we still can't see it. The SSH key could be not IDRSA. You can't most of the time. I, I mean, normally a process can see its own environment variables. Linux wants to show you that shit. All right, so we can assume maybe var log. Is it access.log? No, it's var log Apache 2 access.log, I think. Nothing. Was proc self command line work? Let's find out. Mm. 
No. Isn't the log dir defined at the top? I mean, it's it's in an environment variable. It's usually var log Apache 2, I think. It's usually var log Apache 2, but we may not have the rights to see it. You can't see error.log either. Okay. Deciphering these eldritch runes is going to be a little bit annoying. I'm assuming these are all hexing. These are all hex. shows the past arguments. That's just going to show me when they started up uh, Apache 2. Var log off dot log. I mean, that's for SSH, usually. We d we doesn't appear that we can read any log files. We just don't have the proper permissions. Um... I guess we never actually did our diligence with like robots.txt. Every time, dude. Every time I don't look at robots.txt. Like at, like every single time I don't look at robots.txt, there's like really obvious shit in there. All right, maybe there's some clues on what to look at in here. I I mean, I skipped ahead. I did skip ahead, okay? I did skip ahead. I skipped ahead because we immediately found a local file inclusion with absolutely no effort. Okay, so... Secret file, do not read. Okay, well, don't tell anyone, chat, but I'm gonna read it. Don't tell anybody. Everybody be quiet. Shh. Quiet! Forbidden. Oh. Oh, no. Chat, it's forbidden. How will we read it now? How will we read the file now? Oh no! We read it! FBI, open up! Oh no, we got. God damn it. Every time with robots.txt, I swear to God. Every time with the robots.txt, I swear to God. Um. I would, like, look, I, I would try the PHP filters exploit, but I, I to be honest, I still don't understand it. <laughs> I still do not understand it. It's just, I don't know, dude, that's some big brain shit. I, I don't think it's that big brain. I just, it's hard for me to understand that one for some reason. It's, 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 I, I, to be fair, I've tried, I've tried, like, I, I, I read an explanation of it, and I was like, that seems complicated. And then I moved on with my life uh, and didn't think about it again. You should watch my stream. When you were streaming it, I was kind of watching, but I was driving at the same time, so I was not watching. Uh, I was driving down to... Um, uh, I, was dri I was driving down to... Um, uh, I, I, was dr I was driving to another city in the state uh, at the time that you sent that. It works, lol. I'm ha I'm so glad. I'm so happy for you. I, 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 the thing is, I just don't get it. I, I just don't understand. So, I guess we can try it just for funsies. Do you got? Okay, fine. We'll do a quick poll. We'll do a quick poll. Mm 
We'll do it with we'll choose your own adventure, chat. All right, we'll do marbles while we're waiting for the poll, okay? Or at least I'll start marbles up. We've been talking about it for a hot minute. I mean, Tiberius knows that shit better than me, okay? Tiberius knows that shit better than me. The fact of the matter is, I've got a ridiculous amount of stuff to explore and learn at all given points in time. And, like, there's only so much I can... I Only so much time in the day, fellas. I'm not saying I don't want to learn it. I do. I And that's why I'm giving you guys the opportunity to make me learn it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so, currently, the poll seems to be 24 to t 25 to 2. So, there does seem to be a slight advantage in favor of the... In favor of the... Uh, unintended path group. Uh, which is fine. Uh, I'm not, I, I'm not ups, I'm not, I'm not afraid of learning, fellas. Okay, I'm not afraid of learning. I just tell you that I've, like, I've tried to understand it twice and not gotten there. And, and not gotten there. But, uh, if you'd like me to learn it in front of you, can you make money hacking these days? I mean... I'm doing it right now, right in front of you, dude. I mean, Flynn is giving me money right now. He gave me t his Tiggle Bitties. Uh, Nougat's with the three months. Welcome back. Flynn gives me another t 200 Tiggle Bitties. I think those that was the previous 200 as well. Uh, Avataris, Scepter CS, Marcus, Bonjour. Uh, thank you for the follow. Crypto Ghost with the 250 Tiggle Bitties. Not to be undone. Flynn! Not to be undone again. 200 more Tiggle Bitties. That's so kind of you, gentlemen. Thank you so, so much. Or ladies. Or ladies. Uh, Gogs, thanks for the follows. Thank you guys so much for the, for the continued support. I don't do this for the money, but it is nice. Um, it is a, it is a nice incentive. New gets with the 300 Tiggle Bitties. Thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, I'm a full-time red team operator, so yeah, I can make money. And uh, the plenty of ransomware operators uh, make money doing this stuff too, illegally, but they do make money doing it. All right, I guess we're going. I guess we're going in with the new PHP filters, RCE. All right, let us begin. Let's begin trying to understand it for the third time. I'm not just going to use a filter generator. I'm not going to do it, okay? I want to actually understand it. If we're going to do this, we're going to understand it, kids, okay? All right, where is this fucking... Okay. Hack Tricks already has a page on it. Perfect, okay. Okay. This write-up explains that you can use... Let's, let's just open that. Can I not? Oh, it's locked up. Let's give it a second. I don't know why my VM does this on stream, but it, it does tend to do this. I think it's Firefox that's doing it, if anything. Okay. All right. So let's read this write-up really quickly. The challenge was to achieve RCE with this file. So this is what we have, essentially. We're, uh, we're getting a file um, we're, and including it. We're just in, it we're, it's just a simple LFI. It's even simpler than this. Where he bypassed the filter using convert. So we're using some convert, some, uh, we're, we're convert, we're gonna be converting to base 64 and to Unicode and all kinds of shit. Do you want me to get on a voice call? Um, do you guys want Tibbs on a voice call? Do you want to listen to the some Brit bonger? Like, tell me, like, I, I, tell me like I'm five how this exploit works. <laughs> yes. Okay, chat's saying yes, so I guess that's fine. Sure. All right. 
Okay, everyone says yes. All right, let's uh, let's tag. T let's 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 do it. Special guest for the win. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you put it that way, special guest Pog. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious. I mean, Tibbs and I have been friends for a long time, so. Oh, crap. Wrong speakers. Wrong speakers. Hang on. Let me fix oh, this. I need, to, I need to turn the... Um... Yeah, I can't hear you because I have to mute your stream. Okay, how's that? Uh, I, can, I can still hear you only through the stream, I believe. Okay, you should... Yeah, you'll have to probably mute the stream because I have to direct it to the same audio output so that it gets picked up on the stream. That? Okay. Testing, testing, testing. testing. Okay. All right. Can stream? Can uh, it looks like stream can still hear me. Can you hear me, Tibbs? I can hear you now, and I've muted the stream. Yeah, so that's good. Okay. Cool. All right. You'll hear everything I'm saying on this. You're not going to miss anything on the stream other than the. Uh, uh, okay. We uh, it, Ichibod says you, we can hear that they, that he can hear you. He can hear you now. Okay. Next. Okay, so, all right, let's go to another blog post. This is the is this the one I read originally? I don't think so. No, the uh, which one is the best? I read some blog post on it, and then I listened to your stream, and then I was like, "Well, this seems complicated," and I still didn't understand it. I'm gonna post in Discord. There's, there's the synactive, that's it. The synactive one is what got me to understand it. Um, so I think that's probably the best. Let's turn the music down. One second, I'm playing with audio levels here. Okay. I, that's as high as I can make Tibbs. His mic, def, his mic, uh, his mic uh, volume is a little bit low. If... But I'll turn it. I yeah, can turn it up let me mic. know because I, I can always adjust my mic as well. There we go. I turned it up on the stream here. Hopefully, I think it looked the audio levels look better now. There we go. I I I made it better. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh. Okay. All right, Pete. I think I I think I saw this the Synac post. Yeah. So there's a. The first bit of it doesn't it doesn't really matter, but if you scroll all the way down to where it says PHP filters to the rescue, that's where it kind of starts. I don't know why Firefox keeps locking up Kali completely every so often. I might just it might just uh, like yeah, I can post the link Kali. in the chat. Yeah. It's probably just time to rebuild Kali. Come on. I, now my, my VM is not responding at all come on all right well i guess we'll wait for that and i'll open it on my host well it woke back up again but all right php filters okay okay i think this is the one i read but i don't uh PHP gadget chains. Yeah, so this is kind of irrelevant. This is just basically explaining that they used it on Laravel. Um, yeah, okay. So if you keep scrolling down until you get PHP filter to change the this rescue, there we go. PHP GGC. I use that. Yes. Okay, all right. Yeah, so this so... is really where it starts. Okay. Okay, so principal characters have to be enabled so that Chinese people can talk to us. Yes, we have our basic ASCII encoding table, but it's far too small to speak in Japanese or even Greek, which contains uh, lambda, uh, v, uh, and pi. Thus, to be able to print characters from other languages or even emojis, many encoding tables are used. Okay, yes, encoding. These per these conversion tables are also accessible through PHP convert I convert. Yes, okay. I see that. 
So far, I'm following. They're used as equivalent to all stream data with iConvert. These filters do not support parameters, but instead expect the input and output encodings to be given as part of the filter name. Okay, so yeah, out input encoding and output encoding, okay. So we're both encoding something and outputting it as a different encoding, okay. The wrapper makes the link between the wrapper and the PHP function I convert. This exploitation trick was first detailed in a CTF write-up for other pur using PHP wrappers for other purposes in 2018. Trick is not new, uh, but only began to be democratized around the end of 2021. But it is, man it's, uh, it is possible to transform many characters from a string by using different encodings through iConvert, but it is mandatory to control the con generated data. We can answer both problematics using Base64. To be able to strict strip junk characters the way base 64 decode works in php is quite interesting i would say janky okay so it just tries to be tolerant of non-base 64 encoded characters right like it yeah so effectively if you give it non-base 64 encoded characters it will just strip, strip them out for no reason what, what I hate is that they've base64 encoded the string base64, <laughs> really? which makes it more fucking confusing. Why would you do that? Okay. All right. Echo base64 decode. Base, we get base64. Yeah, that's just the regular base64 decode. And then they put on some junk non-base64 characters. File get yep. context base sixty four decode resource test dot text they get base sixty four okay uh, I'm I'm this is honestly so this is honestly like the crux of the matter if if PHP fixed this this vulnerability would just disappear mm -hmm. the fact that you can remove non base sixty four uh, encoded characters by doing a decode is pretty much what makes this possible okay so PHP trying to be tolerant of weird strings uh, makes this weird base sixty four strings makes this possible okay the base 64 string is base 64 encoded yo dog we heard you like base 64 so we base 64 the base 64 string and then base 64 decoded it uh the uh the interesting part is when we prepend the uh junk string to our base 64 value as you can see php does not throw errors but simply ignores them and works as if they did not exist okay cool uh, and this is why the vulnerability works. Okay, I'm following so far. Even if the PHP base64 filter and base64 decode function are really close in their behavior, there is a difference between them regarding the way the equals character is interpreted. Okay, okay. Uh, so file get contents, uh, PHP filter, we get base64, okay? And then we put equals signs in there. File get con uh, invalid byte sequence. So we put equal signs in the middle of it, and it doesn't like that. Um, but right if we in, the, in the filter version. In the filter version, we put file get contents invalid byte sequence of command line. So it does. So it it doesn't like. So the 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 filter version does not. Uh, the regular version of base sixty four decode will will be tolerant of these. It will just strip them out. Yes. Uh, but the filter version does not tolerate them. Uh, it won't strip them out, and it won't. Um, it, it it just won't. It won't. It it won't tolerate them. Is what it was. What I'm saying. Yes. Okay. Exactly. And so you can actually get around that by doing another convert from UTF-8 to UTF-7. Mm -hmm. So if you do a convert to UTF-7, uh, it will basically. It gets rid of the equal signs. It, it it trans translates the equal signs into something that is invalid base sixty four, and then it strips um, it out. Okay, I get it. And right. then it gets stripped out. So far, okay. So far, I am following. Um, as we can see, for some reason, the base sixty four decode filter does not properly handle equal signs well. Uh, to solve this problem, it also require it's also required to get rid of equal signs. One of the solutions is to use UTF seven encoding. Uh, so we take we change UTF eight to UTF seven. Um, and then we use the filter base64, and it will properly base64 decode it, stripping out the bad characters. Okay. 
again, I am following. Now that we yep. can filter, fil filtrate, <laughs> filtrate ver valid characters from junk, let's discuss the heart of this trick, prepended characters from encoding. And somebody might ask, why the hell would an encoding add characters? Uh, to answer this question, well, because some some characters are two bytes and some are one byte. Uh, would be my, or some are multiple bytes, is what I'm going to assume. This uh, to kind of it's a bit more complicated, but yeah, you're on the right track. Okay. To answer this question, we must dig a little in some character encoding RFCs. Some of them actually pretend characters in an intended way. I'm assuming. Okay, they could have like proofread. But still, okay. In some cases, signatures are prepended by encoding. In the case of U Unicode, it is required to give to your system the order of bytes to use by digging a byte. Okay, all right, okay. Because U because Unicode can be either little endian or big endian. Uh, it's just an example of why a character might be prepended to a string depending on the encoding used. Okay. The Korean character encoding for internet messages detailed by the following RFC. A message has to start with the sequence ESC. So this is how we can prepend care. Okay, so we can add characters to a string when encoding it because uh, some character encodings require certain strings prepended. Okay. Yeah. Um, so effectively, but... whenever we convert some any string to uh, an encoding using this ISO 2022KR, you get four extra bytes added to the start. And what bytes get added in particular? The so the the escape command con uh, so control character uh, that dollar sign uh, closing parentheses and the letter C, capital letter C. Oh, this one um, right here. Which is important. So that's that's really useful because obviously the first three are nonsense in terms of base sixty four, but a capital C is a valid base sixty four character. Mm -hmm. So. Even if we were to just encode using this ISO 22 uh, KR, and then we do a base 64 decode, um, all those th those first three bytes are going to get stripped, but Strip. the C is going to get base 64 decoded to whatever a single C gets base 64 decoded to, which is nonsense, but it's still a valid base 64 string. So, so my question so, is, how mm -hmm. does this lead to code execution, though? How does it execute this code rather than just encoding or decoding it so that's a good question um, and it's basically to do with the way uh, includes work with php filters so generally when you obviously do an include and you just reference a single file uh, php is going to say okay but this is a file path i'm going to load the contents of the file path and then pass that to include and then include is effectively going to just uh, well, include the contents, right? Okay. Um, so it's, so with it's, PHP you're filters, for, you're tell, you're basically passing include the equivalent of a file, and include that's just what include mm, does. It's going to execute it. Yeah, kind of. It's 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 a bit weird though because it's you got to kind of think that it's not includes not really being passed the file. It's being passed the contents of the file. Okay. PHP is handling all of that behind the scenes. So when you pass include a PHP filter, um, PHP is going to use that filter. It's going to get whatever file you give it. Um, so say you're just using a filter with resource equals slash etsy slash password. Mm -hmm. PHP is going to grab the contents of that, and it's going to return the contents to the include. OK. So it's only taking and that's the how contents that... of a file. So we're tricking right. PHP into assuming that this crazy encoding string is going to be the contents of a file? Exactly. Okay. And so the way the way this exploit really works is obviously you, you can only prepend bytes, but you can prepend as many bytes as, as you want. If you keep encoding uh, the same string using that ISO 22 uh, KR, if you keep doing that over and over again, you're just going to get those same four bytes being added again and again and again. Yeah. So the but way this really works. Well, exactly. So what this guy discovered was that by using other encodings, you can effectively change these uh, these four bytes into other bytes, which 
then okay. when you do the base64 decode, uh, you can effectively collapse them down to a single character. And he found these chains of encodings which generate every single character that's base64 um, decodable. Okay. And so the, the way, effectively the way this works is you come up with a base64 payload so the easiest one being, you know, just it's a really, really small uh, PHP uh, yeah, code yeah, that does a... Something like that. Yeah. Right, exactly. Uh, it has to be within the PHP tags, though. So you have to do angle bracket, question mark, sure. blah, blah, blah. Um, you base64 encode that, and then you effectively use these um, chains, but you work from the end of the string to the front. Because obviously you're prepending data... Right. So you need to prepend the last character first and then all the way to the first character. Okay. And then after you've done all of that, the final thing is you just add an extra base64 decode to the very end of your filter, uh, which will then decode that base64 encoded payload, and it will get returned to the include as the raw PHP. Okay. I, I mean, I think it makes sense high level. Um, I, I, I Okay, so... We we're basically just taking this crazy this this sequence of characters and we're encoding it in other crazy ways to get other characters mm -hmm. other than this C that we that we may or may not want. Um yeah. and we're just prepending them last character first. Um uh and uh, and then tacking on an extra base sixty four decode on the end so that and then all of the junk characters will be stripped off. And our string will be base64 decoded and passed to include. Yes. Okay. I guess that, I mean, it, it does make sense, but it's already making my head spin with the encoding, I would imagine. Okay. Yeah, so. it's really confusing, but it, it it's it's just fun how it works. You can do it manually if you want. I would, given that we what we have to do if, if essentially is um, generate a base64 encoded uh not a reverse shell, but a command execution PHP payload. Mm -hmm. It's probably going to be a while. So, if you want to demo it manually, we could probably just do a base sixty, uh, like a really small base sixty four encoded string. Yeah, let's do um, a demo man. Let's just do like a PHP info. Can we do a PHP info? Is that is that is that uh, is that too much to ask? Uh so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to write out the whole PHP info string, including PHP. Uh, tags, yeah, and then you have to base64 encode that, and then we have to write that using the exploit. So okay. I would say that's probably a bit of an ask. Okay, it's fine. Uh, these things can get really big. Yeah, really no, I quickly. saw. I, I mean, I've seen the the payloads are just ridiculous. They're really, really big. So yeah, for a simple PHP info, um, I guess we can just let's take a look at this tool that you sent me. Where did I put this to open this thing? I have so many tabs open. Here we go. Is this an IRL scenario that is encountered? Uh, if you have an LFI, then yes. This is the idea is that you can get this is automatic code execution from an LFI. Um, is my understanding, and as long as PHP filters are working as intended. Okay, so we have PHP... As long as it's an include as well. A CLI to generate PHP filters chain. Get your RCE without uploading a file if you control entirely the parameter pass to or require or an include in PHP. Well, let's just see what it looks like. Um, CD opt. Okay, CD PHP filter chain generator. My headset turned off on its own for some reason. There we go. Uh, tack H. Content. Yeah, we can generates. probably just use the chain. So it, I can just do PHP info with that, I guess. Yeah, dash dash chain, yeah. And I can just put in like PHP question mark PHP PHP info. 
Yep. Like that? Yep. As long uh, as I get the ending tags right? Yes, that should work. Oh, God. Okay, that's... Okay. Let's try it. Okay, so... Yeah. All right. It's... Okay, so we're converting UTF-8 to UTF-7. Um, that's for... Yeah, so that's just getting rid of the equal sign. Okay, yeah. Uh, con convert utf eight to utf 16 and this is to get like the first character is this are we getting the the less than or this we're, we're getting so that string let's actually can you select that string and base 64 encode it yeah. separately because that'll probably make it a bit easier to oh understand. i forgot it's the base 64 encoded value yeah okay. exactly we're, we're writing okay. we're writing base 64 encoding yeah okay we can base 64 Okay, so this is the base64 encoded value it's trying to Yeah, write. so it's actually writing a plus. So this so first plus. thing it's doing is writing a plus symbol. Okay. Um, so it'll basically, yeah, from that first UTF-8 to CS ISO 2022, all the way to where it does that first base64 decode, so on line two, about halfway across. Right here? That's... Uh, right there, yeah. So that base64 decode, you always do it effectively after each character, you do a base64 decode, then a base64 encode, and then you do the UTF-8 to UTF-7 conversion again. So the decode obviously gets rid of all the, yep, the base64 encode is what you need to actually be able to write the character we want. Um, and then the UTF-8 to UTF-7 just removes any extra equal signs that were appended by mistake. Okay. All right, so every single time we have to remove any additional equal signs, uh, that's why these get, uh, I would imagine that's a big part of why these get so long. Yes, exactly. Okay. All right. Well, um, and so would, after that, yeah. <laughs> that would have taken a long ass time to do manually, that's for sure. Exactly. So let's, I mean, you can just see if that works. The only thing that might not work is you might need a space after the semicolon. I've had instances where that has been the case in the past, but oh, let's just a space try it. Right here. Okay. Yeah, let's just try it without, though. So we'll see that's going to be an extra <laughs> bite or two. Okay, let's just paste this beast in here. Well, we seem to get nothing, so we may want to try it again with the, uh, the space. Yeah. So like a space right there? Yeah. Let me actually see if I can do it on my version. And what's this PHP temp at the end here? Ah, yes, yeah, so that might be the reason it's... Yeah, so basically PHP temp is uh, always it's a file that's empty that's always going to be there. Oh, there we go. Um, work there. It's yeah, so work with the space. Yes. So uh, the the first guy who discovered this um, had to find a file on the system because you have to give resource something. Sure. Obviously, you can you can do you can do Etsy password or whatever you want, um, but the the author of the tool figured out you could do PHP colon slash slash temp which is always going to be there anyway. Um, so, yeah, and, and it also it's a zero byte file, so you don't have any nonsense appended to the end. Oh, that's helpful. Um, but yeah, yeah, so here we go. So yeah, what happened was the PHP filter obviously built that string, base64 decoded it. That happened to base64 decode to the PHP code we wanted. If you do scroll all the way down to the to the end of the page and you, you may have to go into the source See i'm not sure but yeah here. there you go exactly so so because we're prepending um some junk characters do end up at, at the end of the string but they're ultimately nonsense and not required so uh okay that's why that happens but yeah yeah we saw that in the examples with uh, uh base 64 decode so that makes sense Interest, really interesting stuff there. Uh, yeah. 
I mean, yeah, that would have taken fucking forever, I think, to do <laughs> like just simple PHP. Yeah, I th or PHP. I think on I think on my stream we chat made me uh, do the word bums. <laughs> um, so, which is okay because you know that was only like six base sixty four characters, I think. <laughs> oh hey, it's. Uh, uh, I mean, but yeah. it, it, if it got you, it, I mean, if it worked. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we so, can yeah. do... I mean, realistically, we we obviously can't write a full reverse shell. It's just going to take too long. Yeah, but... I mean, I, I'm not going to. I'm just going to put it into the thing, uh, the generator thing. Stop. Okay. I'm trying to write the... I, it's freaking scrolling whenever I try to write in the IP address. Oh, you mean you're going you're gonna to use the PHP filter generator? Yeah, that's the, fan. that's the plan anyway. So, yeah, so what you might run into, I haven't actually tried this, but what you might run into is um, URL limit length, so length limit. Ooh, yeah, um, that's a good point. So, however, what you can do, um, I'll send you in Discord. Um, you can use this, which is what I used. Um, Let's give it a shot anyways, so, just for kids yeah. gigs. We're going to need a semicolon uh, space. And system. I think system's disabled, but we we can try it. Uh, it doesn't like my quotes. Why don't you like my quotes, sir? I'm escaping both of the single quotes. Um, do I have to escape the double quotes too? Surely not. No, I don't think so. It's Maybe not. try using double quotes instead of single quotes around the whole thing. It might be it might be a bash i think it is a bash thing actually yeah uh, it definitely is a bash thing because it's asking me it's telling me my quotes are bad there we go well like you said we may run into character limits i think uh get yep. request is only <laughs> likes two thousand characters or something like that yeah. Boy, that's a that is a mm. big ass string. Yeah, so this is really the only limit to this. Um Let's just see if it works. I think it might it's probably going to be too long, but we can try it anyways just for science. Yeah, too too long. I don't know how many <laughs> characters that was, but it was too much. Yeah. Take a look at the Discord chat I sent you. So this one definitely works. Um, I think system is actually disabled. I think they've turned off the system function. Um, so just a simple, uh, like, web shell. Exactly, yeah. Okay, let's do... So the system function is disabled on this box, you mean? I think so. I was trying to get it to work earlier. It wasn't liking it, um, like but the exec does. Exactly. So, yeah. So, yeah, this one is looks a little weird because the get zero, but obviously zero just being just the URL parameter, parameter that you use. But it's just yeah. a short parameter name. Yep. Okay. And that's much shorter. No, that's, that's much more agreeable, I will uh, I will say. Oh boy. It'd be faster if I did this in burp. Yep. It would definitely be faster if I did this in burp. Okay, so that should load. Okay, we that looks right. Yeah. It loads a bunch of junk characters. 
and yep. uh, then we'll have to do an and uh, zero equals ID. Mm -hmm. And we do not get the. Well, that's interesting. It definitely worked for me. Uh, let me let me just do it in burp. Let's just open burp up. It'll be easier to see what's going wrong in burp. Yeah, this uh, this equal sign works instead of PHP. Yeah, so that's a special. Uh, so in PHP, if you use that, it'll just return um, the result of the first function that you call. Okay, interesting. I didn't know that about yeah. PHP. Yeah, it's a it's a shorthand way of doing an echo, really. Yeah, it definitely works for me. So I'm not sure why it's. I did base. I sorry, I did URL encode it. Oh, I'm not probably, sure. That probably that, shouldn't. That might be the. That might be what's causing. It might be, but it does. I don't think. I didn't see any characters that needed to be URL encoded, but let's just. Exactly. We'll just do. Uh... Oh, why is it redirected to burp? Hang on. Okay. Proxy HTTP history is what I want to look at. Okay, there we go. We can send this to repeater. Okay. So now we can paste in our crazy payload. I just copied this from what you sent. Copy all of that. Yep. We'll put this in here. There needs to be a space at the end, and then it's going to do and ID or and zero equals ID. Yeah. And we but then, do... yeah, just URL encode the first, not the whole thing, obviously. Just this part? Yeah, you can't, well, you don't want to, you don't want to URL encode the, yeah, the equals. URL parameter. So all the way from, no, no, from the, the P of temp. Because obviously that ampersand zero. So you only want the 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 post parameter value to be encoded. You don't want the ampersand zero oh, because you want that to be like... part of the URL. Oh, okay. So all the way from the P of temp to the the top, right? To the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so just all of this first part. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully. Give me an ID. It does not... Hey, no, what? That's the that's the. Um, let me send you what I have working in mine, because hmm. I don't know why it's not. I generate the same thing. Oh, there's a character limit in freaking Discord. New gets, thanks for the 300 tickle biddies. That's very generous of you, my friend. Thank you so much. I hope you're learning stuff. Uh, Shin Ryzen with the 69 nice Tiggle Bitties twice. Thank you so much. As needed, thanks for the follow. I don't understand why it's doing that, but let me... Okay, I'm going to have to create a paste bin or something. It's the classic works on my machine. I mean, it definitely does. <laughs> what was that paste bin alternative that everyone was using? All right, let's just see if this will do it. Create new paste. You use this filter chain generator like I did? It's triggered. Yep. I must have I don't know. done something wrong here. Does the zero need to be a string? No. Nope. Oh, I know why. Because we, yeah, that was my bad. We we put it in double quotes, so, oh, so uh, bash, bash, is bash is, yeah, bash is thinking the dollar sign is a, 
freaking variable. All right. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Bash is fucking up. That, yep, that looks different. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's my bad. Oh, I should have seen it too. No big deal. All right. All right. Let's paste all of that in here. There we go. That time we get ID. Nice. Excellent. Nice. There we go. All right. All right. Does, that, does everyone understand that? Clear as mud? Every, everyone understands it. Everyone in chat perfectly understands what we just did. <laughs> it's, it makes perfect sense. We just we just did magic. Yep. It's everyone and everyone's saying, yep, it's clear. Yep. Magic. Like we did some David, some David Blaine street magic. Like... <laughs> <laughs> do i have that blog post it's really cool find the blog post so you guys can read it uh, yeah so there are so many triatme machines that are vulnerable to this it's kind of funny but um, yeah like basically all of them that yeah. have lfi mm. all right there's your uh there there's the blog post so you guys can go through it at your leisure uh, Tibbs, thanks so much uh, for helping walk. Yeah, no problem, that. man. I think I, I definitely do think I understand it a little bit better now. Um, so that, awesome. that was definitely very helpful. All right. Have a great rest of the stream, man. Thanks, man. You have a good one. Bye. All righty. All righty. Does everybody understand that? Yeah, that was that was good stuff. That was that was good stuff. Um, that was. Uh, I'm glad we took the time to properly understand that now. Now we finally have uh, code execution that's use useful to us. So let's do our bash one-liner and see if we can get a reverse shell now. Uh, let's put the music back on too. Yeah, you can add it to the toolbox now. Now you understand. You can add it to the toolbox. That's the ultimate goal of these streams anyway. This is probably a hard box. You're not supposed to do this. This is unintended. This is an unintended uh, bypass um, to get code execution. You're not, you are not supposed to be able to do this. Um, this was not taken into consideration. And a lot of try hack me boxes are this way. So... Um, let's go back to burp. Let's paste in our bash one liner. Uh, netcat. Uh, let's cd try hack me. And then the next, uh, uh, this one was watcher. Uh, netcat. We'll listen. Okay, control U. And there we go. We did it, boys. We got a reverse shell through the PHP, uh, through the PHP thing. Does anybody have any questions on that? Or I, I, I mean, that was pretty simple, right? Everyone, everyone perfectly understands it now. It was totally, totally simple. It, it, this is unintended. We are not supposed to get a reverse shell through this meme, through these memes. Um, we we only did this as uh, a way, a means of which of learning something new to put into the to put into the toolkit. Okay. How would you find something like this? Again, it's LFI. It's at any time you have a local file inclusion in PHP. Any time you have a local file inclusion in PHP and php filters works uh this is possible i have that defcon hoodie too it's from defcon 29 uh not this past defcon but the one before that the one that was kind of crappy because covid was still keeping it down i understand how much i don't understand enjoyed the demo yeah it's a little it's a it's definitely a cool little exploit it's definitely a really cool little exploit oh so lfi into rce correct it turns any lfi into rce uh, if they have, if filters are present, uh, if you can use filters and you have an LFI, it will turn, um, it will turn any PHP LFI into an RCE. 
what would be the intended way? I have no fucking idea, dude. Like, we... Chat voted on me doing the unexpected way. Box expires soon? No, we still had another hour, but I added another hour to it. We have plenty of time. You have as small of a payload as you can? You just have to... Yeah, you have to have as small of a payload as possible. Uh, Tibbs provided us with this simple one. Um, and that payload was small enough that we were able to get a reverse shell. What could be the intended way? The intended way is probably through FTP. Like, they gave us those FTP credentials. Uh, we did some stuff. Yeah, they, so we got some FTP credentials. Some fine additions. The fine addition to my collection. So there's there's the the correct the correct path is through FTP by the looks of things, um, but and I but I let chat choose. This is a choose your own adventure stream, and chat chose to see the PHP code execution exploit. Um, so which I did not fully understand, um, and still won't unless I do it manually somehow. But I understand at high level now. At high level it makes sense to me now. Uh, so let's do. Um, which Python, which Python 3, Python 3-C, import PTY, uh, PTY.spawn, oh my god, I can't type at all, bin bash, Okay, STTY raw minus echo and foreground, export term equals X term, 256 color. Okay, there we go. Now the question is, will the intended, unintended become a dead end for not going the intended way? We'll figure something out. Um, like, we'll... Uh, we can always we have we have the FTP credentials still, so we can just uh, we can look for is there like a database file? We have flag one here, more secrets. Uh, CD more secrets. Cat flag three. So already LFI, what a guy indeed. Indeed, LFI, what a guy. Indeed. So, flag two is probably on FTP. We'll find that one later. Can you show me again burp? Uh, yeah, which which burp do you want to see? This one? This is the, this is the PHP web shell. Uh, and then we tack on uh, a parameter uh, containing a reverse shell payload in the background. Or in the on the at the end of it there. Do you think it's in the wild much? Oh yeah, LFIs. You see LFIs. Um, uh, not not like it's not the most common vulnerability that I see, but it's definitely there. It's definitely present. You'll see LFIs. I've found I've seen LFIs before in the wild. Uh, you'll see them on internal web pages more than external ones round.php I'm not seeing any database or anything here so we can probably go to let's go to the home directory and see if there's any home directories we can read uh, we can read everybody's directory actually so we'll look at FTP user because those are the credentials CD FTP uh, cat flag 2.txt which is world readable so there you go Okay. All right. So, uh, we have a files directory as well. Okay. So probably what, uh, the FTP user group owns this directory. Uh, so the intended path appears to be to upload a file through this directory right here, uh, and then include it, uh, here to get remote code execution. So that appears to be the intended path because the FTP user is the owner of this file and has right access to it. Boring? I agree. 
We did not skip too much. We just uh, we just skipped the FTP portion of it. Does that make sense? We've done we've done exactly this a hundred kajillion times. This is this is not, uh, and we would have gotten code execution as www data per usual anyways. So we just we just skipped the part with FTP. That's all. We didn't actually, which I thought was a little bit cooler. I'm glad we did it that way. Uh, I hope you guys learned a little bit at least. Uh, so we have Matt, Toby, and Will. Let's see if we can read anything in these. Uh, flag 5 is here, but we cannot read it. We would need to be Will. Uh, we can read this note from Will. I've set up your sudo rights to use the Python script as my user. You can only run the script with sudo, so it should be safe. I did this box yesterday. Okay. Um, well, I'm noting... Uh, we probably need to get access to Matt so that we can get to Will from Matt. But the question is, how do we get to Matt? Uh, we have a cow.jpg. If it's steganography, I'm going to be upset. Uh, let's look at scripts because we can read that directory as well. Willscript.py. I'm guessing this is what's going to be run with sudo. cmd.py. <laughs> uh, okay, so cmd.py if num equals 2 if num equals 3 okay cat will script dot pi uh, so I can already see how this is going to work so Matt owns this cmd.py script and I bet you this will script is going to call it yeah from cmd import get command so it is this script, uh, which is owned by Will, is importing this script, uh, so we can, which we can modify. Matt owns this and can modify it. So that's how we get code execution as Will. The question is, how do we get to Matt? Uh, so let's look for SUID binaries really quickly, and then we'll look for files that are owned by Matt. Uh, perm. There's got. We need to get to. We need to get to Matt from here. Did you get flag four already? I did not get flag four yet. All of these look normal, I think. All of these look normal to me. You need flag four? I'm sure I need flag four. Well, I mean, like, let's just, uh, let's see if we can find flag four. <coughs> find root tack name. Flag four. My goodness, Chad B. Noob with the raid. Thank you so much, Chad. Welcome. Welcome into your viewers. I'm sorry I've not been in for a saucy Saturday. We have Toby. Toby user. So let's look at Toby. Not even a part of his family. So we need to get to Toby to get flag four. So uh, we do have this world readable directory jobs. We have a note.txt from Nat. Cat note.txt. I've got cron jobs set up now, so don't worry about getting that done. So we're going to have to run peace by probably. Um, we can look at jobs. I'm guessing this is probably running as a cron job, cow.sh. Uh, this is owned by Toby. Copy ca Matt's cow.jpg to temp cow.jpg. It just really wants that cow. Um, but I'm guessing, can we set the... No, the environment variable thing. This is a this is a relative path, but I don't think that's gonna matter. Yeah, we're gonna get the we'll get the last one. I must have done this a long time ago. I don't remember this box at all. So I must have done this a super long time ago. 
Um, I'm get, I probably we're just gonna run by we're run, gonna run P spy. I'm gonna assume. Um, but. That guy Kim, uh, thank you so much. That guy Kim for the eight months. Uh, Lino, thank you for the follow. Cthulhu Fatten to you, my friend. Uh, do I want to run Peace Buy or am I just assuming that this is running as Matt? I'm assuming this is running as Matt and we need to get to Toby. So how do we get to Toby? We never check groups. Uh, we're just in the dub 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 data group. Um, we look for SUID binaries. I don't want to run LinPs. This box seems too easy to run LinPs on. Um, LinPs would be... LinPs seems like overkill. Uh, binary and Fark with the four months. Welcome back, my friend. Thanks so much. A hunter must hunt. Jasper Benitez, thanks for the follow. Cthulhu Fatten to you, my friend. We never checked the root directory. Check the passwords directory. Let's just check all the obvious places before I run piece by. Well, there is a backups directory in here, but we don't have access to it. We need to either be root or in the ADM group to have access to this. Why isn't there a Cthulhu Fatagan button on your stream deck? Because very few places are able to, to like, uh, you can't find that, that phrase said very often, except on this particular stream. They didn't even say it in the uh, Cabinet of Curiosities when Cthulhu himself came up. He didn't directly come up, but he was definitely there. Got to record yourself. I, I mean, I guess, I guess, yeah, sure, I could do that. It's not as good, though. Um, we need to get to Toby. So, are there going to be credentials somewhere next? A hunter must hunt. We, we tried to look in, we tried to look in here and I don't think we have any rights to, to read the Apache logs. Yeah, we don't, uh, which is why we couldn't read it with the LFI. Um, we probably aren't going to be able to do much in here without being, without being ADM. Um, do I really have to run Lin keys? by I'm gonna figure it out this see this is too easy to run Lin peace I'm not gonna run Lin peace I'm gonna figure it out there's got there's a way to get to Toby let's run peace by really quickly so I can make sure that nothing crazy is happening don't tell me I'm gonna figure it out it's too easy for you to give me a hint box is this this is watcher on try hack me don't tell me i'm gonna figure it out we're running peace by this is too easy uh this is our shell apache is running lxd we're not in the lxd group so that doesn't help us gonna get there it's probably something real stupid uh i'm sensing i am sensing that it, yeah so this is what we expected uid 1002 i'm gonna guess this is matt uh that is uh executing cow.sh here i'm guessing this is matt 
So uh, that is executing that, which doesn't help us. That just means we need to get to Toby so that we can get to Matt so that we can get to Will. That is the that is the path that I see, but but we need to get to Toby first. Did we we looked in we looked in the web directory for credentials. I didn't see any database or anything. It probably behooves me to go look through that again. Um and look for passwords somewhere. Maybe I can do a grep R. Alright, there's I don't think there's anything else here. Uh, CD, var, www, HTML. We can do a grep tack R. Toby. No. Uh, pass. I regret my life choices. Password. Nothing. Was there anything in here that looked crazy? We got the flag. Bunch.php, I'm pretty sure, is just like... Yeah, it's just lorem ipsum stuff with that image from the main page. Striped and post is probably basically the same thing, but we can look. Cat post.php. Well, that one looks different. Oh, no, that's because that's the one that's including. Okay, we already read that one. We looked in more secrets. There was just a flag in there. Fuck. It can't be like a pseudo tack L or something. I knew it was something stupid. I knew it was something stupid. Why am I so stupid? Why does dev 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 data have pseudo permissions? That's not a thing! <sighs> what are you doing? Shut chat, up! Bro? Shut up, chat! I don't think to run pseudo tack L for dub 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 data usually because it's so rare that dub 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 data will have pseudo permissions. That defeats the purpose of dub 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 data! <sighs> All right. Uh, we'll just do bin bash. Okay, we're Toby. Congratulations. <laughs> Fuck. I hate my life. Uh, why do I do why do I do this for you people on this stream? Why? Well now we know we can easily get a reverse shell as Matt. Okay. So we will um nano cow.sh. We could just echo it in. It's no big deal. Okay. We'll do 8444. Okay. Exit. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. So now we can go on over here to netcat tech nlvkp 8444. I should, I should use that K parameter more often. I used it earlier today. Um, and now I feel like it's more useful and I should do it more. You can read flag four. Oh yeah, we need to read flag four. We can do that while we're waiting. Uh. God damn it. My terminal's all messed up. Oh, we got a shell as mad anyways. Uh, 
Uh, but rather than do like the SSH thing, or, or rather than do the STTY thing, let's just do an SSH keygen. Uh, we'll put it uh, mat RSA. Okay. Dir, dir dot sh. Okay, echo. Uh, cat mat rsa dot pub. Just need that part. We can echo. Oh, see, this is the problem. Now, now we get multiple shells. Uh, I should, I should have uh, it, the the benefit. I shouldn't use the TAC K. That's why I didn't use the TAC K on the. Uh... Don't use the TAC K on reverse shell, uh, listeners. Is what I'm trying to say. Authorized keys. Oh come on, move. Authorized keys dot SSH CD dot SSH. What the hell is going on? No. Oh my god, it's all messed up. Everything is messed up. It's all it's it's chaos. Yeah, so don't use TAC K. I, I shot myself in the foot there. Sorry about that. I, I shot myself in the foot. All right, we'll do marbles really quickly while we're waiting on the shell to come back. Marbles. Race. For glory. SSH was not a directory. I did make dir. We'll figure it out. Uh, I must have typed something wrong, obviously. Exclamation point play in chat. If you would like to play, no giveaways today. We're going to do giveaways on Tuesday uh, for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving giveaways. Um, but today we're not doing giveaways. It's just for, just for glory. Get your votes in, or not votes, exclamation point play in the chat. Uh, Bush Lane with the 10 months of Bezos indoctrination. Welcome back, my friend, to the All Has Red team. Jasper Benitez, No Man Chic, uh, Osu Moment, and Icron. Thanks for the follows, my friends. All right, let's start it. Two more, I give you five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, go. It begins once more. Oh, geez, this one is long. I guess that's why it's called endurance test. All right. Yabjorn. Yabjorn yeah, appears to be in first, but who knows who will make it down the drain first. Let's come down here and see who makes it out of the end. Oh, Yabjorn yeah, and Havex. Havex appears to have pulled a slight lead. Oh, we should have done a Gamba. I forgot about Gamba. I forgot about Gamba. All right, Havex and Yabjorn. Yeah, Professor Dragmire coming up the rear, as he is wont to do. All right, we're through the first obstacle. Havex now is still in front, mate. Oh, but Yabjorn appears to have taken the shorter route. It looks like it might be shorter, though, but they both curve around, so who knows. Yabjorn has a, has a really nice lead now. Really nice lead, on, but, but Havex could easily take this. Oh, Yabjorn appears to be have navigated that obstacle pretty well. 
But redacted. Redacted out of nowhere. Redacted now. Looks like he might be in the lead, but it's hard to tell in these big spirals. Whose marble has the most endurance? Whose marble has the most endurance? Redacted and Mr. Muddy Pants. Mr. Muddy Pants using his the mud for propulsion. Oh my god, but Redacted handling. Oh my goodness! They both handle the obstacles so well. Oh, but Mr. Muddy Pants fumbles. Oh my goodness, Mr. Muddy Pants. I believed in him. I believed in him as sure as his pants are muddy. Oh, I think Redacted was a fake one. Blah159. Redacted was the record. Blah159 getting the first place on this one. This one is boring. One of these days he will make a scene for this. No, we don't. No, I won't. I'm not doing it out of spite. Icron appears to be lost. Uh, he appears he appears to be lost on the one-way track to the end. But uh, let's not let's not shame him, okay? Let's not shame our friend Icron. He's having a hard time, okay? Okay, he makes it at the end, okay? He makes it. Well done, Blah159. Very nice. Okay, let's see. Did we get our shell now? Okay, good. A hunter must hunt. CD.SH. Okay. All right, Echo. Authorized keys. Okay, so we have an authorized keys file in there. Let's do SSH tag I Matt RSA uh, Matt at uh, the IP address of the machine, which is ten ten one nine one one zero three. Okay, we now have a proper SSH shell, so things should be a little bit less janky for us. Uh, we have cat note.txt. I've set up your pseudo rights. We can do pseudo tack L. So as predicted, we can run uh, will script.py uh, with any arguments. So very, very simple stuff here. So we can go into scripts. Um, we cannot modify willscript.py. That is owned by Will, and we have read access but not write access. But we can modify cmd.py. So we're going to do nano cmd.py. Okay. Okay. If num equals equals four we're just going to add another option in here return bin bash okay sudo attack you will uh, we have to run exactly this string Uh, we put four and invalid command cat will script dot pi. Oh, well, that's rude. If command not in whitelist, I didn't even, I didn't even properly read will script dot pi. run cmd.py like this is running cmd.py we can't run cmd.py as will uh but but will script.py is running cmd.py if cmd not in whitelist print invalid command 
So we can run. So yeah, we can run. Uh, we can run three cat Etsy pass WD. Don't return a command. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's 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 what I'm thinking about doing. I'm just I was just thinking like, can I bypass this whitelist anyway? Because I thought that'd be a little cooler. Um, but obviously, it's easier to just like uh, just put arbitrary code into uh, cmd.py. Like instead of returning instead of this back door here. Instead of this back door, instead of this extra command here. I just wanted to see if I could bypass that whitelist, but I don't think I can. Um, so we can just do uh, import OS. OS.system. Bin bash. I don't think we even need to do that. Um, Cause then it would have to execute the function. We can just come up here. Okay, import OS, os.system, bin bash. Okay, exit. Okay, um, and then we can do this again. And now we're Will. Okay. Does everybody understand that? Do we need tack P here? What distro are you running? This is Kali. Does everybody understand that? Oh, wait. Flag 4. Did we ever get flag 4? I don't think we ever got flag 4, did we? Fuck it. We're getting, we'll get root and then we'll go to flag 4. I'm too I'm out of control, okay? Home will We'll just get root and then we'll come back and get all the flags. So I picked a good box? Well, the only the only part that was really cool was the uh we did the PHP, the unintended PHP code execution, which was pretty neat. Okay, so now we're will. We do sudo tac l. Uh, we don't know what his password is. We do groups. And we are in the ADM group. Which means that we can go opt backups. And we have key.base64. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this appears... That's uh, cat key.base64... Base 64 dash D. Okay, so we get the proper RSA key. Let me guess, this is Root's RSA key? Okay. Uh, Chamad 600, Root RSA. Uh, SSH tag I root RSA root at ten ten one ninety one one oh three and there we go so we are root there's flag seven who watches the watchers what were we watching in the first place Uh, CD, home, Toby, cat, flag, four, Chad lifestyle. <laughs> the Chad lifestyle, indeed. Live by the cow, die by the cow, indeed. And there we go. We get the confetti. All done. Well, uh, that box was pretty easy and boilerplate. I don't know why that was considered a medium. It was just a medium because it has a lot of steps, I guess. Um, you guys want to do another marbles game? Another marbles?
Shin Ryzen bringing Blah159 into the cult. Welcome. Time for one more. Uh, let's, let's do another marbles game. We'll do another marbles game, and then we'll decide. Maybe we'll do a quick, easy one. Yeah, we'll probably do a quick, easy one after this one. All right, exclamation point play. We'll do another marbles game. Whoa, this one looks cool. Exclamation point play. And while people are signing up for marbles, let's decide on another box to do so I can start the box up. Uh, we'll do an easy one. Uh, difficulty easy, hide completed. Okay, let's do a poll. We'll do Gamba as well, but we'll do a poll first. Just a one minute poll. Uh, Kenobi. Uh, oh, I forgot to put on challenges. Uh, get happens. I feel like we've done Archangel. Have we not done Archangel? I guess not. Plotted TMS. And we'll do poster. All right, get your votes in. All right, what should be our gamba? What should be our gamba? Will more than 50% finish? Uh, does this look like one where it's going to be a bloodbath? I can't look at the course ahead of time. All right, we'll do we'll do uh, we'll do this one. All right, get your get will butt stab finish in the last half. So he needs to not only finish, but he needs to be in the fight in the second half of the people who finished. That's your gamba. Shin Ryzen, uh, thanks so much again for blah. I appreciate it. Wait, wait. As always, butt stab needs to finish. Okay, he must finish. Don't clip me on that. Don't clip, okay? I'm just I'm just telling you how the gamba works. Kindergarten kitten with the 14 months. Welcome back. Welcome back to the All Has Red team, my friend. Thanks for supporting the stream. He comes up the rear and he finishes. That's listen, like we know this about butt stab. Alright, let's start it. I installing Arch Linux in a VM. What's a good recommended desktop manager? I mean, honestly, that's up to you, my dude. I prefer KDE as a desktop environment for Linux. But, uh, oh my god. we It is going to be a bloodbath. But Butt Stab appears to be in the first half. I forgot to turn on the F0X soundtrack. Whatever. He comes up the rear and he finishes. We know this about but I'm just saying what things that we all know about butt stab, okay? I'm only saying things that we all know about butt stab. I should have waited until the gamble was done, but it's fine. Now, now the question is where is butt stab now? Have we lost him? 
Did we lose butt stab already? I don't see our friend butt stab. Oh no, there he is. There he is. He's still with us. He is still with us. Ah, who will make it past this first? Oh my god, it's mayhem. Oh my god! Oh, Hundija Vesi was the sacrificial lamb on that one. Alrighty, we're coming up to the neck. Oh, another bomb ready to go off. Is that a bomb? Maybe not. We're they're, they're making their way through the lots of obstacles on this one. Coming up on the last on the last portion here. Who will make it past this last obstacle? 4 AG. Oh no! It he looks so good. Oh no! Not enough velocity. Oh my god, it's a bloodbath. Oh, it's horrible. Shit shit rise and rolled out of it. I can't tell if they're finishing or not. Some people are finishing and some are not. We don't know where the... We don't know where Buttstab is finished. I missed him. Medikin doesn't look like he's going to make it. All right, let's see. Did Buttstab finish? It appears not. Buttstab did not finish. Alas. Alas. Prediction result, no, alas. What did, what, who won the poll, by the way? I missed the poll. Who won the poll? Mods, who won the poll? Archangel? Archangel it is. I meant to start the room up, but whatever. It's probably a Linux machine. It's fine. Archangel because it's tagged LFI. Is it really? It is tagged LFI. I didn't even notice that. I can't believe we didn't finish that last box before. That's just wacky. Like, that would have taken... We were far enough along on that box that we probably could have finished in, like, five minutes. Ugh. Another LFI with PHP? Po possibly. We'll see. Just exit out of all of our shells here. Okay. Okay. Start our nmap scan. Okay, we got 80 and 22. Let's take a look. I hate it when I get those extra spaces. Wave fire. Wave fire. Uh, so we got lots of lorem ipsum content here. Lots of lorem ipsum. Uh, let's start a full port scan. Full port scan. Okay. Let's do uh, Go Buster. Probably going to need Go Buster here. Uh, 
I regret. Just delete the PHP, I guess. Paste that in there. Images directory. Let's view the page source. We have a pages directory. A flags directory. Pages, flags, flags, flag.html. And we're getting Rick rolled. Yes. Yeah, we got we, we got Rick rolled, okay. All right, all right, very nice, very nice. Okay, we 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 got there. <laughs> all right, they got me. Fair enough. Uh, looking at stuff. This looks like just custom content. Try V hosts as well. Uh, port 80 is the only one open, so I want to make sure to properly enumerate it. Let's make sure we properly enumerate uh, port 80 because it is the only one open. Oh, yeah, robots.txt. I can't forget robots.txt again. I can't forget robots.txt. Do that, and let's do robots.txt. No. Do we have any email addresses? Mafialive.tryhackme. Let's see if that le leads to anything. Let's see. Hosts. Okay. Do that. And that in there and then the IP address 1010190047 let's see if that leads to anything it does we did find a flag uh, mafia Did we check out that pages directory? We didn't. I think they're just static pages, but um, I could be wrong. Uh, we're just trying to make sure to do it. We don't need that anymore, I guess. Um, let's do, let's go buster mafia lives that try hack me instead. Okay. Found the right host name. Okay, so we did find the right host name. Progress. How did you customize your terminal? Is this NeoVim or something else? This is uh, Tmux. This is this is uh, oh my Tmux, uh, and we are in uh, CRT uh, terminal emulator. Cool retro term. Uh, that's if you want the configuration, you can just reach out to me on Discord. I give it out for free on Discord. Uh, kindergarten kitten with the four. Uh, f thank you again for the 14 months. Yabjorn, thanks for the follow. Nothing, huh? Uh, robots.txt. Aha! Test.php. So, yeah, I almost forgot robots.txt again. Here is a button. 
I do see there is a button. Uh, and we do see that this is quite possibly a uh, local file inclusion. That's not allowed. Hey, do you know what I think might be allowed? What do you guys think? Do you guys think that PHP filters might be allowed? I just want to hop in and say I love your content on Twitter. Hey, thanks, Pizza Boy. I appreciate it. Thanks for hopping in. Okay. Um. Um. We can do... We could try PHP filters with that. Uh, that thing. One second. Let me get the appropriate syntax. PHP filter. Let's see if we can base 64 encode that. We can, which means, hey, you know what? You know what I think might be allowed, chat? Uh, call me crazy, but I think this might be allowed. We're doing it twice. You're dub we're double dipping. We're double dipping today, chat. Sorry, that's not that's not allowed. Yes, it is. Maybe PHP temp is not allowed. Uh, maybe we need to put in... Uh, we need to give it um, that resource we just gave it. Rude. Absolutely rude. Uh, this is the resource we want to put at the end. Instead of PHP temp. Aha! Aha! Get fucked, binary and fucked! Get fucked! It looks like it's working to me! Golly, it sure looks like it's working to me. It it sure as shit looks like it's working to me. Cause that looks like remote code execution. <laughs> Alright, we did the thing again. You guys got to see the thing twice. Congratulations. We'll send it to repeater. We'll just paste this exact string. Because it's already URL encoded and everything. Okay. We can kill this. Don't use the K. The K is the K is not intelligent. Oh my god, it's definitely not working. This is definitely not working. No, it's it's it was it was filtering based on the path. I just needed to put a path in there that was going to work. That's all. Uh, as long as... This, it expects to do this. This is whitelisted or something. Yeah, this is whitelisted or something. So, um, yeah, I will add it to the Necronomicon. I will add it to the Necronomicon. Um, but uh, I just needed to add a location that was uh, uh, that was allowed. That's all. All right. So we got, we got, we, I don't know how much of the box we skipped there. Uh, apparently there is a second flag somewhere, but we'll find that here in a second. Let's do uh, Python 3-C. Control Z, STTY raw minus echo, export term equals X term, 
256 color. And we can come over here, STDY-A, 52165. STTY rows, 52 calls 165. And there we go. So let's see. We have a, we have a robots.txt. We have mrrobot.php. What was in mrrobot.php? Oh, it's just echoing control is an illusion and cat test.php. Uh, it's just getting the view parameter and then including it. If contains string. Oh, it just has to have this string. So the intended way to bypass this is just by doing dot dot slashes at the end of this. What's the Necronomicon? It's my cheat sheet. Uh, I give it, I put it out on my Patreon. Uh, is there a flag here somewhere? Uh, where is Mafia Live? CD flags. Nope. CD pages. Flag in the PHP comment? Did I miss it? Uh, CD development testing. Oh, right here. I'm blind. Get a shell and find the user flag. Okay. Uh, let's check the home directories. Archangel. Cat user.txt. So we do have the user flag. LFI to RCE is tricky. Um, I just copied and pasted something. Um, but maybe it was tricky for you. Real tricky. Cut. Pressing control C and control V. Very, very tricky. Control C and control V. All righty. Uh, well, let's make sure to check pseudo tac L this time because I'm not getting burned again. Okay, nothing there. Does anybody have any questions about any of that? Most of that we saw in the previous box. Uh, most of that was just the, a repeat of the previous box again. Um, if you have questions, though, I'm, I'm happy to answer. Anything? It's weird how a modern technique makes a two-decade-old vulnerability type trivial. Uh, we probably would have had to do... Uh, I, I'm not sure. We d There was no FTP on this one. Uh, there may have been a remote file inclusion there or something like that. There's probably one of the traditional ways to get code execution through that means. Um, but yeah, that does make it trivial. Uh, okay, groups. Find root, tack perm, tack 4000. Let's make sure to check the passwords directory. Check for SUID binaries. All of these look normal, I think. None of these stick out to me. Okay. Uh, CD opt. Anything in here? There is. Owned by Archangel. Uh, cat hello world.sh. So this looks like a cron job to me. Um, I cannot look into backup files, um, but this looks like a cron job to me. So we can just do like a nano hello world.sh. And we can do a reverse shell. That's probably a cron job without even running pspy. Q 
Okay. Okay. Eight four four four, and we see if we get a connection. Um. Uh, LFI with log poisoning. Yeah, that's one of the standard ways. That is one of the standard methods. Uh, wh what else can we read inside of Archangels? We got user.txt. We cannot read the secret directory. We can read my files. So let's take a look at my files. We did get a connection back. Password backup. And this is readable by us. You, you can't do it twice, okay? You can't do it twice. They did it twice. I'm not I'm not looking at it this time, okay? Okay, we did get our shell though. CD.ssh Cat home uh, try hack me I know my name try hack me um, watcher Matt RSA dot pub. Let's just use the same key we used on watcher. Now that we're a proper user, I like to just get an SSH shell. Um, SSH uh, attack I. Mad RSA, uh, Archangel at 10, 10, 190, 47. Okay, we're Archangel. Uh, we have the user.txt, get user2 flag. CD secret. Okay, cat user two dot text. Okay. Horizontal privilege escalation using cron. Yeah, we did that. All right, now we root the machine. So there is a backup, and well, and who knows why backup is highlighted like this? Anybody know why backup is highlighted in red for our terminal like this? Yeah, it's because it's SUID. You can see it right here. It's set UID and it's owned by root. So let's see if we can uh, execute this and get Rickrolled again. Cannot stat my files star. No such file or directory. Well, let's see what we're doing. Um, uh, let's take a look at my files again. Okay, that was the password backup. Uh, there was cat secret. Uh, let's do strings backup. Okay, so very small elf we have here. Um, set UID. Is it running system? What is it doing? It's doing something. Backup.c. Uh, I can see it's using system. The question is, what is it doing with system? Who sees what it's doing with system? There's a CP command? Where? I'm expecting to see probably a relative file path. Oh, there it is, right there. Yeah, 
So this is a classic relative file path uh, situation. Classic relative file path situation. Uh, so uh, does anybody need that explained? Uh, who needs who needs the the vulnerability of the relative file path explained here? Yes, please. Okay. Okay. So uh, let's do a quick Notepad stream. Okay. So a you have two paths in Linux and and in Windows as well. Uh, you have a relative path, and you have an absolute path. So what is the difference? An absolute path in Linux, we're talking about Linux this time. An absolute path in Linux is any path that starts with this. If you see a path that starts with a slash, that means you're defining the file's location relative to the root directory. That makes it an absolute path. Does that make sense? So an example of when I put an absolute path was when I referred to this SSH key. I had to do this because I'm not in the watcher directory. I'm in the Archangel directory. So I referred to the SSH key we used on watcher by an absolute path. Note that it starts with a slash. Does that make sense? Or tilde? I mean, technically, the tilde path also starts with a slash because the tilde get resolves to slash home slash resolves to the absolute path of your home directory. So technically, that it's still an absolute. It still starts with a slash. You just can't see the slash because the tilde becomes a slash, and some other stuff. Does that make sense? This is an absolute path. A relative path is any other path. Any other path is a relative path. So, if I used SSHTACI Matt RSA here, if I just referred, if I just cut this part off and just went to Matt R and just typed Matt RSA, first of all, my command wouldn't have worked because Linux doesn't have a, doesn't know where a file called Matt RSA is. And second of all, that would have been a relative path. Does that make sense? It's relative to wherever you are in the file system at that time. So, if you execute a command like copy, copy is a binary. CP is a binary. How does it find where copy is located? If I execute copy, how does it find the, the copy binary? Yeah, how does it know which CP to execute? Using dollar path. Interesting. Environment variables. We notice we have a number of environment variables. Any shell you have is going to have some environment variables, most of which are set by default. There's this one called path. This path, this also exists on Windows, by the way. This environment variable tells tells your system your shell where to look for binaries when you put a relative path like that okay so where is copy located if you execute which uh your 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 system is going to search through your path environment variable like this starting with the first directory then to the second one then to the third one they're separated by colons you can see here until it finds a, a directory that has a, a binary in it called CP. Don't quote me on that, okay? This is CP. This is the copy binary, not the other kind of CP, okay? Yeah, shut up. It's not Ron's coffee shop. Okay, so. All right, so we see that which found CP inside slash bin slash CP. Okay. So what why is all this relevant? Why is all this relevant? Well, when you execute a binary, when you execute a binary from a relative path, the system is going to go to this environment variable. It's going to go to the path environment variable. 
and it's going to say, hey, is there a binary by this name in this directory? It's going to go in order every time. And if not, and, and we see that for CP, it's no. It's, gonna, it's, it's not in that directory. Then it's going to use a look in user local bin. Then it's going to look in user S bin. It's going to look in user bin, then S bin. And then finally, it's going to look in slash bin. It's going to look in slash bin. And it's going to say, hey, there's a binary here that you're looking for. So even though it executes root, yes, it's looking at our path because we are executing it. Archangel is executing it. If this was sudo, uh, if we were doing sudo, root would be executing it. But we are executing it with root's permissions. It's a key distinction. So the key, the the vulnerable vulnerable the the vulnerable part here is that we can control this environment variable. We can change it. Okay, so we can do something like uh, uh, we can do like nano CP. We can make some CP in in this directory, and and nobody is going nobody is going to quote me on that. Okay, it's not cool. It's not cool. Okay, don't bully. Okay. And we could just execute bin bash. Okay. And then we have to make it uh, executable. Okay. So we now have, we now notice that there is a, there, it's not, it doesn't have to be a binary. It just has to be an executable file. No, it doesn't need to be C. It just needs to be any file that is executable. Which, in this case, ours is. It's a shell script. Uh, so now what do we need to do? We need to change the path environment variable so that when this file tries to iterate through the path environment variable looking for CP, it finds our CP in this directory. FBI, open up! <laughs> I'm on a list. I'm definitely on a list. Jeff Bezos is, uh, Jeff Bezos is monitoring me very closely right now. Is all I'm saying. So we're going to change our path environment variable. We do that with the export command. Export path equals... And we want to put the location of this directory. So uh, home archangel secret. And then we can put just the rest of the environment variable there. Okay. So now if we look at our environment variable again. We see that the path environment variable has now been updated. We see the path environment variable now has this has our directory with CP in it. Okay? Does that make sense? So now if we execute backup, all of a sudden, like magic, we become root. Because, again, Backup is performing a CP command without specifying the full path. Backup is not specifying the full path of CP. God, this is, I'm on a list. I'm on a list for sure. This is your fault, chat. This is a relative path. This is a relative path, so it's going to do this rigmarole where it goes through the path environment variable. And as it happens... There is an executable file called CP. Can't you stop saying CP and just say copy? No, it's funnier this way. Don't you understand how funny how it's funnier this way? Anyway, we gave it a malicious executable to execute that just executes bin bash for us. And then boom, we are root. Does that make sense? Does anybody have any questions about that? Very common. Very common mistake. All right, there we go. All right, any questions? Can you show backup again? I mean, it's just the strings. It's a C file. It's written in C, so I can't show what it actually states. Uh, it's a compiled C file. All it's doing is 
All it seems to be doing is executing this command with system. The only thing that's relevant is this part. Okay. Okay, stop it with I heart CP. We'll do another marbles race before we end off. Yeah, let's do another marbles race. Oh my god, we we have a we have a proper race track. Exclamation point join to play with us. God, I love the Valkyrie theme in God of War. God, the score of God of War Ragnarok is so fucking good. I may buy the OST of God of War Ragnarok because it's that fucking good. Okay. I'm late. Can we start over? Uh, no. We did two boxes. You missed out on a Tibbs collab? You missed out on a lot. Today was a good stream. Good stream today. All right. Get your, get your get exclamation point play to join. Doesn't cost you anything. Just for funsies. We're going to do giveaways on Tuesday for Thanksgiving. And we'll probably be rating Oa Labs live again because he streams on Sunday. All right, let's start. Five, four, three, two. Oh, wait, let's do Gamba. We have to do Gamba. Is Maticus Maximus in here? Are you in the are you in the race? Wait, did he join the race? He did not join the race. Okay, now he joined the race. There he is. Okay. Okay, get your gambas in. Will he be first in the top five as he was last five to look at the stream today? First top five in the in the race or and bottom five in our hearts. <laughs> All right, get your vote. Get your get your uh, get your predictions. Most people hedging their bets on no. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, Maticus. People get busy. I know. No big. No big. All righty. 62 people. 62 people. He has to be top five. All righty. We start it. I missed one stream. I, I Again, I'm just getting on your case. We begin. Wait, why is... Oh, these are all the laps. They put the laps on here now, I guess. I don't know where Maticus is. Oh, there he is. He's actually in the in the. He's actually early on. Piece of two pizza is leading the pack at this point. What the hell is this big fucking head? Who is watching us? Okay. Uh, Maticus is in the is in the front half, but he's got some ground to make up. That's for sure.
Winzen T69. Nice. I, 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 out in first. Out in first now. Maticus is moving up the field, actually. Oh my god, Maticus is moving up the field with some with some with some with some energy. What is happening? What is happening? He is in second right now. What is going on? Oh my god, people are gonna riot if Maticus Maximus gets top five. There's gonna be some money changing hands. Oh my god, he is in first. Maticus, first in the race, last in our hearts. Maximus is coming in hot. Oh my god. If Maticus, if Maticus gets top five. If Maticus gets top five, this is gonna be it. Like some money is changing hands, I'm just saying. He's coming in hot. He's top. He's in third right now. Our boy. Second. How did this happen? Out of pure spite. Out of pure spite, Maticus Maximus <laughs> is in first. Oh my god. No one predicted. How did this happen? He's in second in the final stretch. Oh my god, he's going to come in. It looks like it looks like third. Oh my god, Maticus Maximus in third. The legend. The legend. Absolute Some peeps money is changing hands. Okay, some money is changing hands. Fortnite Chapter 3 and Piece of 2 Pizza in first and second, respectively. But the big talk of the town is Maticus Maximus bringing it in for third. Oh my god. It's a bloodbath. Fellas. Oh, the, the poor nose. An absolute bloodbath. Oh my goodness, some money changing hands. Some money changing hands there. The unexpected ending. Oh my goodness. All right. All righty, we're rating Oa Labs Live. Oa Labs Live. Oa Labs live today. Thank you guys, as always, for being here. We'll be back on Tuesday. We'll be doing some Thanksgiving giveaways. Um, it'll be a good time. Um, if you have questions, comments, threats, I'm just going to go back to working on my course now. Course is coming very soon. I'm hoping to get it to you by Christmas at the very latest. Uh, it's coming along real nice. Um, I think it's at least going to be on Udemy. Um, I'm working out. I'm working with some people to get it on another platform for you guys as well um, And also to figure out the lab situation. I'm not sure what the lab is gonna look like just yet uh, Data Sherpa. Thanks for the follow um, Yep, you'll hear more about it very soon uh, Go to bed tonight knowing a little bit more than you did yesterday. See you guys again when the stars are right um, Stay safe. Love all of you guys <laughs>